Hi, I'm Pallavi Suresh with Cisco ACI Tech Team. In this video, we will be discussing about common issues noticed when collecting on-demand tech support logs. Let us start with the first issue of storage disk space for tech support is full. This issue could be identified with the following fault codes. When the APIC disk usage is high, the operational status under the specific on-demand tech support policy may show errors as listed. To resolve the issue, delete the older tech support, core, and crash files saved under the data slash tech support folder. In order to delete the older files, log in to the APIC GUI and navigate to Admin, Import Export, click on Export Policies, delete any unwanted or old tech support files. Similarly, check under Core Files and clear what is no more required. Let us now move on to the second issue, NXOS tech support collection failed. This issue can be identified using the following fault code and is primarily observed when extracting tech support files from the leaf or spine nodes in the fabric. A temporary file is created under MNT IFC log when acquiring tech support. High usage of the directory will lead to this fault. Also, if the switch uptime becomes longer, NXOS tech support log file size will be bigger and consume the directory too. And if you run into this issue, it's most likely that the logs under the mentioned folder has consumed much of the space. Contact TAC to verify the files and reduce disk usage. The third commonly noticed issue will be authorization failed. A user mostly encounters this issue when trying to download the tech support files locally using the URL generated under specific on-demand tech support policy. This issue is commonly noticed for the remote users authenticating through TechAx even though they have full admin privileges. To download tech support from the APEC web UI, only local admin credentials are supported Hence, that part of the authentication will not be processed by TechAx. When the remote users are not able to download the tech support files via the UI, they may use SFTP or another method to pull the files from the data slash tech support directory on the corresponding apex. Thank you for watching.